What can we expect from Cardi B's new sneaker? Now, will Yeezy 700s turn things around for the brand? And what's going on with Nike's new silhouette? I'll have all those answers and a whole lot more for you on this week's edition of The Flip. to you from the empty complex offices in an empty Times Square. I'm Rax Hogan, aka the Stylish Stoner, aka your kid's favorite role model, aka intergalactic icon of sex. Uh, and we got a, a, a action-packed show for you, so let's stop wasting time and get right into it with Question of the Week. All right, now, it takes all of about two seconds looking at this set, and you can tell that the show is all about sneakers, but sneakers ain't the only thing that you can make money off of in the resale game. So that brings us to this question of the week, which is, what are some other streetwear items that I could make a decent resale selling? And I have one very simple answer. It's one word. Supreme. You don't have no problem getting rid of offloading any of your Supreme stuff at any given time for at least a little bit more than what you paid for it. So if you're looking to get involved in that, that's probably another show for another time. But yeah, Supreme, fairly simple answer. Moving right along. Okay, now we're gonna kick off actually with a model that I mentioned a couple weeks back. We got the Cardi B Reebok Women's Club. Congratulations to Cardi B. I like the shoe personally, but it's not for me. Um, it's for y'all to understand how it's gonna work when it comes to that flip. And if you want my honest opinion right now, I'm seeing the numbers kind of just doing double retail, kind of in the middle of what retail was. So you see in price between 150 and 200. I think you should sit on these shoes. And that's no shot at Cardi, because again, I think the shoe itself, it's not bad. I think that the ladies will definitely be able to pull that off when things go back to normal. They go into their boat parties, they brunches and all of that type of thing going on. And I think it really speaks to her fan base and people in terms of the style that she actually portrays in real life. Moving right along though, we're gonna get into uh, no stranger to our show here at The Flip. Kanye West. And it's probably like, damn, he got a shoe literally on every show. I think he does have a shoe on every show here, but here's another installment of the Yeezy 700 B3 Safflower. Yes, that, that, that the name of that is Safflower. The shoe looked like something that came straight out of uh, an alien movie, but I think that these shoes would do fairly decent. I think they'd do better than the uh, V2 model, the 350, because this is like a cooler little, you know, walk on the wild side for his, his line. Uh, I don't think it's gonna say the brand. I'm not gonna sit here and say it's a not. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a high. I'm gonna throw the road dice on Ye, all right? You know what I'm saying? I want him to go back to the old Kanye. Maybe his numbers will go back to the old resale. I'm gonna throw him on the hot list and say that the 700, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just write the name, Safflower. I just like, I think I just like saying Safflower. Safflower. I do think you will see somewhat of a return, a little bit higher than probably what retail was. Definitely probably more than 100 bucks. Definitely more than $20 and $30, which you were seeing on the V2. Now, last but not least, we rounded out this week with a drop from Nike. Now, they done collaborated with this brand, Sakai, for the Nike Vapor Waffle Tour Yellow. Say that three times fast. All right, now, I'm actually a fan of this. I like cool mashup sneakers, especially when they, you know, take one model, throw another model, add some artistic design in the middle, and you know, come up with like this cool little baby shoe. You feel me? So if you want my honest opinion, these are definitely hot. I think retail is somewhere around 200 bucks, but you definitely, I've seen pairs, early pairs going for 650, 700, and, 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 Stay tuned because they actually gonna be dropping more colorways. So as the more colorways come out, the older colorways from the first run actually become worth more money. So it's a safe bet to say if you purchase the shoe, sit on it, hold it, tuck it, wait for some more colorways to come out, those colorways will dry up, then you'll be able to capitalize on the resale. And that will be your drops for this week. as told by Rax Hogan. Now, a few weeks back, we took a look at one of my fellow creative Salehi Bembery's new collaboration with New Balance. And I said that the shoe could see a resale value of up to $600. And to be honest with you, if things stay on pace, it looked like that could happen. Right now, the shoe is at around an average of 450 to 500, depending on what size you're looking for. But that's not to say that the sneaker will not climb into the six, 
maybe eight, maybe a thousand dollar mark down the line, which goes to show that sometimes you need to sit on a product and let it mature into its actual value before you sell it. I know that there's a couple models that I wish that I would have held on for just a little bit longer and might could have squeezed a little bit more money out of it. But I've been your host for this week. Until next time, save you some money, go ahead and get you some sneakers and get the flipping. I'm out.